Okay, Let's we're ready to it. start. Maganda umaga, mga kapuso. I'm fine. Yes, and uh, Filipino netizens uh, all over the world, and even non-Filipinos are welcome to join this discussion. Uh, I think even non-Filipinos might be interested in uh, the Philippine elections. We have a discussion with some uh, important personalities uh, this morning. In the next 45 minutes, this is being shown all over the world via the internet and by, uh, powered by Google Hangout. Ako po si Howie Severino, Editor-in-Chief ng GMA News Online. And I will be introducing uh, our guests and commentators uh, one by one. And then I will be asking each of you for your general reactions towards uh, voting day yesterday, both about the uh, emerging results and the process. So uh, welcome sa lahat uh, sa E13 Hangout. Ang tambayan mo ngayong election 2013. This is our fifth and final Google Hangout uh, for election 2013. And uh, napapanood nyo kami sa internet. I-type lamang sa inyong browser ang URL address, jmanews.tv slash E13 Hangout. People will be uh, commenting by, via Twitter and uh, discos, Facebook, and all the various oh, ways that people interact right on the internet. So, isa-isahin ko po ang ating uh, mga panuuhin uh, dito sa Google Hangout uh, ngayong umaga dito sa oh, Quezon City, Philippines, uh, GMA uh, News Studios. <coughs> so, kahangout po natin, starting from the right, si Maring Winnie Monsod. Bangan na umaga po, uh, Maring Winnie. Good morning, Howie. Ha Good morning, mga kapuso. Yes, and then uh, to her right, in uh, si Malu Mangahas, Executive Director ng PCIJ and our colleague here also at GMA Network. Magandang umaga, Malu. Good morning, Howie. Good morning, netizens all over. <laughs> all over the world. <laughs> yes, and uh, Jim Paredes. All over the world, the Philippines and around. <laughs> Jim Paredes. Uh, of course, everyone knows uh, him as an entertainer, but he is also an activist and commentator and avid tweep on all kinds of things. Uh, Jim, magandang umaga po. Hello, world. I'm right here. <laughs> and, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. And uh, Father Francis Lucas, uh, Executive Secretary of CBCP's Episcopal Commission on Social Communication and Mass Media, and someone who's also been very active on voter education and electoral reforms, and also our partner dito sa GMA Network for Election 2013. Magandang umaga po, Father Francis. Hello. Hello. Magandang umaga sa cyberspace inhabitants. Next. <laughs> okay. And we Cyberspace. <laughs> Parang mga aliens, no? Aliens. This is like another planet. Parang ibang planet. We're waiting for uh, Anna Devilia sing song show. She will jump in uh, maybe hopefully in a few minutes. I want to start with Maring Winnie. Uh, initial reaction spot maybe for the next minute uh, on the emerging results, general reactions and the process. Uh, are well, you happy? Are you happy, sad or angry? Oh, well, I, I am not too happy because uh, of the uh, candidates that I voted for, only one came in. That she was only number one, one is... <laughs> not, that only was one? Okay. one is Consuelo, you know, is a little Consuelo, but I just wish the success had been spread all around. But at least number one, yung iyong, pini yung iyong pinili. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, well, it was actually a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. Okay, a but, general. Uh, it should have been expected. A general reaction lang po dun sa process. Uh, the, you know, there were reports uh, all day yesterday of glitches and failures. Do you, do you accept? You know, do you accept the is, results? You know, that is because Howie. That's all they know about. You're talking about the little glitches here and there. That's not the problem. The problem is not with the with the uh, what they call retail cheating at the precinct level. The problem is the possibility of cheating that uh, can occur because not enough of the safeguards were put in. <coughs> this is the same problem in 2010, and it's the same problem in 2013. What am I talking about? I'm talking about one, the source code, which, which came like two days before and we don't have a review. And that is, that is, the, 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 that, uh, that is the program that instructs the PCOS machines, for heaven's sake. And then second, the CF cards, which, which we should never have been part of the, of the mm -hmm. automated elections because those CF cards can be written on over and over again. And what we need for this particular system is a write once, read many times. Mm -hmm. So you, the cheating that, 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 will, that can take place is cheating that we cannot see. So That's the whole problem. So here we are talking about, oh, the gumana ba ang Picos machines, etc., etc. Those are sa akin 
petty problems, which will happen anytime. When you've got 74,000 machines, there's going to be some problems somewhere, okay. right? Okay. What the problem is, is the cheating. Okay. Okay. Uh, Go well, ahead. We, we lost Jim temporarily. Hopefully, he will come back in a minute. But si Malu Muna. Oh, God. I wonder why that happened. Si, si Malu Muna, si, uh, so si Maring Winnie raised some uh, interesting questions. Uh, she's basically suspicious of this whole process. Eh, ikaw, Malu, di, legitimate ba? Le legitimate ba ang uh, itong uh, election na to? Uh, considering oh, no, no. yung mga race ni Maring Winnie. In the end, it will Winnie. depend on whether people find the results credible. Ano? Parang yes, Maring Winnie is saying something very, very important. Yung source code, yung wholesale cheating possibly. But, but, but yeah. right now, what we have are actually reports of incidents of uh, glitches in about, I think, affecting 400 machines according to PICOS machines, according to the COMELEC. Pero yung mga, ito yung dapat singili ng Comelec kasi they promised us na talagang minimal yung dapat errors or problems na administrative or technical. Ang iba namang problema sa election process-wise, I think, have, has to do with the behavior of the candidates, the political parties. So ito yung mga problema tungkol sa vote buying na mukhang malawak. Yung problema sa uh, incidents uh, ng election-related violence at saka yung problema ng uh, of course yung overall yung gulo doon sa ilang mga lugar na yung mga kandidato na violate pa rin ng mga election campaign rules halimbawa yung pamumudmod ng mga polyeto sa mga bawal ng lugar at saka yung mga liquor ban violations okay father Pero francis yun, sa okay sa mga taong bayan at sa kandidato yeah okay well dami ng issues no was yung uh, the source code and then uh, the fact that uh, in, in, walang proper review. Ang sinasabi nga ng ibang tech experts, kailangan ng months, binigyan lang ng ilang araw. Father Francis, uh, anong uh, general reaction niyo dun sa election kahapon? Uh, in general, uh, ano yung uh, pakinamdam niyo ngayon? Well, my uh, first reaction is I'm very unhappy because I was disenfranchised. <laughs> Kayo mismo <laughs> oh, as a no, voter. No, no. Not the least, not the Hindi least. Hindi nakaboto. Hindi kayo nakaboto. Oo. Oh, oh. And you only found out at the precinct? No, no. I, I, uh, I had uh, it checked much earlier. Mm. And they said, I have been delisted. <coughs> the name is not there anymore. Because maybe I failed to vote in 2010 because of you know, our media work. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, that's, that's first. And ready, ready pa naman ako bumoto. Uh, anyway, that's first. The second is, uh, we have about 60 radio stations plus the partnership with GMA7 and BZBB. Uh, and daming news, di ba? And there are a lot of uh, complaints, there are a lot of uh, glitches, lalo na yung mga umuwi kasi hindi makaboto, yung matatanda na pinapunta pa sa munisipyo, pinapunta ko sa mga sentro to really uh, find their names and to be validated. So ang dami niyang kawawa naman. No? Ayaw na lang pumunta. Unless maybe yung masisipag are those are really uh, aggressive enough to vote for other reasons. So that's one. Uh, likewise, I also see the difference is the same. Although maybe the great difference here is the quick count. It will be faster and less poll cheating in the sense of, uh, of uh, cheating with the teachers and all that. No? But you know, as uh, all of the above, what Malu and uh, Maring Winnie said, we, are still, we really have to be very watchful even post-election because of what happened in 2010 and uh, 2013. Sana walang talagang tunay na milagro at misteryo mangyayari. Okay, sige, babalikan natin yung mga iba't ibang issue na yan. I just want to let uh, give a voice to Jim Paredes. He was off the air for a while. He's back with us. Jim, where, yeah. where, where are you? Were you in the were you in Manila? Where were you uh, yesterday? I was in the uh, San Leola area, Katipunan. Quezon City. And and uh, yeah. I, 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 no I, problems. So, yeah, no problems. Had a problem with the I had a problem with the machine. There was uh, a Picos machine problem uh, where you were. Yes, yes. So I just, I just put that the, my, my ballot on the container, and that was it. Um, I, I found my precinct very fast. The lines were very long, but I understand that it took, it just took 45 minutes for you to go to the end of the line and, and uh, finish everything. So there was no problem on my end. Mm -hmm. And I actually felt that uh, the elections yesterday went better than 2010. Oh. That, that was my, my consensus from people who were tweeting sa akin new voters, uh, old voters. I mean, there were glitches like, you know, you couldn't find the precinct and everything. I couldn't find my precinct in 2010. So technically, I did not vote for Pinoy, you know, mm. because I didn't find the precinct. But this time, it was, it was really quite easy. No, no. Mm. I couldn't find my name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then. You couldn't find your name. But it was pretty good then 
in 2010. Ah, 2010. Okay. And now you but this time around, now, yeah, at but least this time around, there was no problem. Okay. Alam mo, oh. alam mo, Howie, this may be something of interest to the voters abroad. Mm -hmm. A uh, very close uh, relation of mine voted abroad in New York, New York. in 2010, mm -hmm. right? Mm, overseas voters. And uh, as an, uh, as an uh, what do you call it, absentee? Absentee yes, voters? Yes, overseas absentee, overseas absentee, absentee voters. OAV. Voters. And dito siya ngayon. Akalaan mo na the mm. list rin siya. In other words, wala, there is no wala connection. Sa there is no, no, yeah. No matter where you uh, are, I mean, it can happen. Yeah, because they probably thought, like Father, Father Francis, he didn't vote in 2010, but he did vote, except that he voted in New York. So the Comelec data was not put together to make sure that all those who voted in yeah. 2010 are still part of the regular list. Mm. So this is of interest to those uh, who are watching this, who are abroad. Okay. Be careful. Okay, I just want to, let's focus on that for a little while. Kasi maraming reports kahapon nga na mga botante na hindi nahanap yung mga pangalan nila sa mga voters list. And I'm wondering how widespread was this? We were getting, kasi ang problema madalas is that it takes a while to collate all of this data, but there are a lot of incidents and now we're hearing uh, at, from the, just the four of you, no? there, there are already incidents that you already know of. Si, May, si Pauline Sikam reported 18 names yesterday in, in, one of, in a precinct in, in Manduluyong. And uh, sabi ni uh, Chairman Brillantes, I think he was the one who said that uh, they're expecting a 70% turnout, which is, I think, 5% less than uh, 2010. So 5% yeah. uh, of uh, the... A uh, five percent decrease is Hello. still is, is five a lot. Five percentage point, five percentage five percentage points. point reduction. Yes. yes, that seems to be quite a large number of voters. I mean, I haven't done the math, but uh, from seventy-five percent to seventy percent turnout, uh, seems to generally be how we hmm. generally how we hmm. a national election without the presidential Mas is mababa. going to have less turnout hmm. than a presidential election. Okay. And this is a by you know barang what do you call it midterm election, mm. so it is normal, normal yeah. that the interest is not as great, mm. e e except that in ARMM, talagang you, you know that I I looked at the statistics, and the ARMM voter turnout rate is always higher than the uh, national yeah. uh, th than the national average. Mm. But that you should, but you should they have a new that. registration. Huh? They had a new registration in ARM in 2012. Uh -huh. So, they na purged about a third of the voters in ARM. Actually, okay. maraming napanggal na rin dahil dun sa double registration or okay. underage. Titignan ngayon natin kung ano ang voter turnout at makita natin kung, kung, kung a lot right. of that is because oh. of... Uh, disenfranchisement. I guess that's the question. No. I mean, uh, how widespread was this disenfranchisement? I mean, people who voted in 2010 suddenly found their names absent from the voters list. No, of course, uh, it might take a while for us to really have uh, 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 big picture numbers, but I'm just wondering how big a factor uh, this will be and whether, you know, and then there's no, we, we, there's no explanation yet. Kung bakit nawawala yung mga pangalan na yan? I mean, is this also another form of cheating? Hindi, pero may dalawang problema dyan eh. Hindi, yung nawawala ang, ang pangalan nila, at saka yung hindi nila nakikita kung saan yung pangalan nila. And one of the reasons mm -hmm. for that, Howie, is that there is, it's a, it's a physical reason. The lists, di ba, ang daming listahan dyan, ano ha, mm. kasi clustered precinct. Mm. They're so close together and, you know, there are just so many people who can be together in one space to look at the lists. Yes. I right. noticed that in my barangay, w which otherwise was a fantastically organized barangay. And your barangay Complete was what, ma'am? Uh, barangay, that's, that's Marina's okay. village. And, and uh, you know, hindi sila nakapila na, na nakatindig. Binigyan ka agad sila ng mga silya, so ang pila nakasilya. So there was a minimum of discomfort. Tapos yung aming, yung other uh, senior citizens were given priority, so they were allowed to intersperse with the, with the, you know, the, the, the less aging voters. <laughs> so it was pretty good. But that physical uh, arrangement of, of the voting lists was unfortunately not well planned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Howie, Jim. Yeah, Howie. I, I, think, I think it was probably widespread, <clears throat> but not as rampant. As, as we think. That, that's just my guess. Because um, sa Twitter, ang daming positive responses. Eh. Mm -hmm. eh. Yeah. Of course, and, many more people were able to, to vote than not able to vote. I and mean, that's, that's a fact. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Much, much more. I mean, the ratio is probably yeah. much, much bigger. No? So I, I wouldn't call it like, like, 
I wouldn't call it an anomalous right now with the data that we have. Mm. I guess the qu one of the questions is the uh, scale. I think we all agree that the elections uh, were far from perfect and there needs to be a lot uh, to improve. But yeah. uh, ano ba yung scale ng mga problema? Kasi for example, uh, ang daming uh, incidents ng Picos machine uh, uh, failures or breakdowns. Uh, you know, media is reporting just isolate, you know, incidents, no? And not and and siguro kulang pa sa collation, but uh, the figures that we're getting are, you know, 300 uh, Picos machines uh, broke down, needed replacement, etc. But, you know, to put that in perspective, in uh, 2010, there were 450 uh, Picos machines that needed to be replaced, according to the Comelec. And uh, to put it in another perspective, there are 78,000 machines, you know? So, uh, if, I to be in more, for over 400, if 400, uh, if over 400 machines uh, broke down, that's still less than 1% of the total number. So in terms of the scale, many, many more, uh, the, you know, the, the overwhelming majority of the machines actually worked and probably worked uh, smoothly. But that's assuming uh, the source code, <laughs> Maring Winnie, uh, oh, no, is no, okay. Uh, it's not only the source code I was uh. talking about. Huh? It's the CFM card itself, which is an anomaly. CFM because that CF, uh, the CF card uh, uh, can be written on many times mm -hmm. and and that particular aspect of the system should be a write once read many times mm -hmm. situation but uh, that's that's but you're only talking about the working of the machine during the during the polling or the voting process but a lot more problems came about how we during the transmission. transmission that's why up to now there's a problem with transmission mm -hmm. And that yes. is part and parcel of the uh, of the entire system. And when there is a problem with transmission, there is greater opportunity to fool around. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. because mm -hmm. yes. and, and, and the has, problems of transmission. Howie, yeah. Think, yeah. Howie, uh, uh, Marie, Tito Winnie is talking about a uh, very important principle actually in elections, so yung transparency and accountability right. in the process. So I think the pagkuhan ng source code two days before election day was yeah, a really? big letdown and a big problem on the part of the Comelec because we, people couldn't even vet the process anymore. Yung accountability dito, so kunyari magsumahan tayo, maliit lang namang bahagi yung PCOS machines na may konting problem sa voting, pero sa transmission, hindi pa tayo tapos, sino yung accountable dito lalabas? Actually, those are very important principles of... Uh, Good democratic and open elections. Eh, paano tong sinasabi ni uh, Chairman Brillantes na ni review naman ng international uh, certifier SLI. Uh, Father Francis, <laughs> ano yung, uh, can you weigh in on this? I mean, uh, enjoy my comment <laughs> without saying a well, word. Well, that is uh, that's one of the uh, quote unquote safeguards that they have been pushing uh, for, to the public. But it's also uh, lacking where we ourselves, who are the Filipinos, who are the constituents of this country, uh, to also look into this and certify it with everybody. Yung transparency nga eh, di ba? Kasi if somebody says so and so, ah, parang kulang yung transparency niyan. Kasi that's not us, that's them. So, yeah. and then I, I, going beyond the digital problem, we also got a lot of report of people who were not able to vote because they did not carry their IDs. That was not very really? well explained. But if you if you already have a picture on the new on the new registration, you don't need to have to bring an ID. Tama. Oh, at saka hindi pwede raw yung barangay ID lang, saka cedula. So even if you have these kinds of IDs, uh, may hinahanap silang specific kinds of IDs, no? Driver's license yata and not everyone drives, no? Uh, mm -hmm. So that was not very well explained, but according to the chairman, if uh, you are a new registrant and you already have your picture there, you don't need an ID. Mm -hmm. And if everybody knows you in the community, Tama. how can you ask uh, an ID? Come on. <laughs> okay. Anyway, balikan natin tong source code lang sandali. Because si, si Chairman Brillantes, okay. one of his last uh, uh, statements on this was... Uh, well, ipapa review niya. Of course, there was a clamor to have it reviewed by local groups and experts. No, sabi niya, well, okay, it's, it, it's, uh, it's there's not, not enough a time. It's not clamor, Howie. It's, it's a requirement. The law. Okay, it's the law. It's the law. <laughs> so, okay, but in addition to that, there was a clamor. There are a lot of laws that are violated, but there's no clamor. In this case, there was some clamor. So he was saying that after the elections, papa review. But then, tinanong sa kanya, eh, paano kung ma makita yung defect sa source code Correct. after the elections? And he actually. Uh, blurted out na, well, it can be used to annul the election. So it was kind of a scary scenario na no. kung makita to na <laughs> kung may makita ang problema doon. But I guess one, 
one basis for legitimacy is uh, do people accept the results? No, I mean, uh, you know, you're you're citing uh, yeah. many kinds of problems. I mean, these are uh, you know we all ac uh, accept no. these as as facts, no, as problems. But uh, ang sinasabi ng iba is uh, well, I as far as the senatorial r results are concerned, what's emerging are what actually emerged during the surveys. So kung talaga may massive cheating jan during the source code, you're going to have some complete surprises. So uh, let's you know go to the results. I mean, uh, let's have some re uh, reactions about the results so far. Yeah, okay. Can I can I say something? Sure. It, to, to me, all of this uh, source code, all of this uh, uh, what it was parallel counting and all of that. What's really interesting for me was the big boo boo was committed by the watchdog last I night. I know, isn't it? You know, so so sa akin, sa akin, I look at what happened yesterday as a step up. Eh. Parang, we are slowly, I mean, we haven't completely, we don't have 100% trust in the process, but I think we have a pretty good passing grade trust on the process. No, that, that I was expecting Comelec to really screw up. The screw up was with the watchdog. So, okay, just to, to, yeah, okay, uh, just, just, just <laughs> for those who weren't following last night, no, yung, the, uh, you're referring, of course, to. Yung PPCRV uh, versus double smart, counting. The, the double yeah, counting, yeah. the bloated numbers uh -oh. that were being aired. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, uh -oh. can, can someone explain this in very simple terms? I don't know if I can because it's a matter of you know the consolidation versus the raw. Tita, <laughs> Maring Winnie, can, can you explain this to the viewers out there? Who, yeah. who, who, who what, what happened with the data? There was a systems problem. They just double counted. They, there was no, uh, again, safeguard against precisely that kind of thing. There should be, uh, there should be a system where it, once, once that precinct has been, has, has come in, yeah. hindi na pwedeng mag, uh, mag come in uli. Enter. Mm -hmm. Oo. Oh, oh. At mm -hmm. ang gusto kong malaman, I, I want to, I want to ask, uh, is it true, Howie, that we got that source code from Dominion uh, because uh, Comelec paid $10 million to Dominion? Is that true or is that a, a legend? That the only reason that we got that source code was Comelec paid $10 million to Dominion because Dominion wasn't about to give that source code to Smartmatic. Because they, were, they, had, they, a they, had, a legal, they had a legal dispute. Oh, well, well what is, 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 that, is there any truth to that rumor that Comelec paid $10 million uh, uh, dollars for, the, for the source code? Well. Frankly, I don't know the truth about that. I'm, ah, I'm okay. hearing, I'm hearing uh, the same kind of rumors, and I don't know ah. whether we should uh, kind of uh, yeah. try to validate uh, that yeah. here. But I don't know, Malu, do you have any uh, no, background on that? No, nothing yet. Actually, we're, we're just showing the photograph turning over of the source code from Dominion to the Comelec. But I wanted to go back to yung PPCRV glitch kagabi, yung yes. sa count. Uh -oh. I think yung, well, what we saw on television was at some point the PPCRV transparency uh, ba da server. database site, uh -huh. well, the, server? the computer, uh -huh. was, was already feeding 12 million votes already at mm -hmm. that time last mm -hmm. night. So parang, oops, ang laki-laki nun because 30 million about voted, ano? 35, out 70% of the 52 million voters registered. So later on, they clarified that there was a double count, as Tita said, and I think programming error. Now, if you will be very, very critical of it, of what happened, PPCRB should not have committed a mistake that big. I mean, that not, and it was yeah. early in the day, that parang baka magkaroon ng doubts na trending. On the other hand, you could give them credit for actually acknowledging promptly yeah. that they yeah, made a mistake. That was good. And I no, think you could give them a parang malicious any malice of oh. any but, sort. But at the same time, yeah. they were pointing the finger at Smartmatic and uh, making it seem like it was all Smartmatic's fault. So, ano ba yung accountability <laughs> ng well, PPCRB? Yeah, they qualified, of course. Nobody in this country says, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. They just say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, but, but I think the, the, the point here is uh, the, 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 there, there seems to be no malicious intent on the part of uh, PPCRB to actually Why jack up they have malicious the figures intent? at the time. It seems, it seems, no? In other words, yeah. in other words, there was no malice, but there was incompetence. Is that what you're saying, Malu? Yes, <laughs> and and, right, there, which, yeah. and late at, been, this was late at night last night. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. actually, they were they were very open about it that uh, we made a mistake, and yeah. so this was what Good. happened. The process was we double counted, etc. There was a programming error. So, I mean, I think if if they there was malice to it, they should have just kept quiet about it and not admitted publicly. Yeah. they made a mistake yeah and, and doing and, and and this 
and this e erupting late at night last night was kind of alarming for a lot of people, especially since yeah. it was not yeah. clearly explained. And then all kinds of, you know, yeah. there are all kinds of uh, uh, frightening scenarios that were being talked about in the days before the election. So parang it just seemed like, uh oh, this, is this what they're talking about now? No? And it's exploding in the middle of yeah. the evening. Uh, so in terms of that, in terms of not only just misleading the public with uh, maybe wrong data, uh, just alarming everybody, uh, including yeah. us in the studio. Uh, and it took That's a while for us to really understand what was going on. It was not really that That's clearly true. explained. But you know, Howie, something that you said is very interesting. You said, well, in the national elections, because the senatorial candidates came out about what we expected, then there is no problem. I mean, what the survey said would come out, then, th 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 then we can accept it. But this is the same thing that happened in 2004. The survey yeah, said yeah. in 2004, just before the May elections, that there was a significant, statistically significant difference between uh, Arroyo and Poe. And everybody accepted it in 2004, including Namfrel, including the bishops, etc. All of a sudden in 2005, everybody said, no, there was cheating. So, I mean, why are you going to say it's okay now and it's not okay then? You know what yeah. I mean? Mm. We've got I to agree. have, we've got to use the same standards. That's and right. uh, by the way, uh, the cheating is not going to be overt. It's going to be covert. Okay. That's what Ice Watch has always been saying, that the possibility, you know, nobody can say that it happened, mm. but the possibility of it happening is there because precisely com uh, co uh, Comelec didn't put in the safeguards. And until they put in those safeguards, the doubts are going to be there. That CF, um, that CF card is tremendous. Can you imagine? Because if there's a problem in transmission, and you've got to admit that there have been many problems in transmissions. So many canvassing, municipal canvases have not yet finished up to now. And the moment there is transmission problems, babe, the CF card is taken from the PICOS machine, and it is delivered manually, you know, by hand to the COMELEC. Right. To the and that's where you've got the problems. Okay. That's where everybody's saying, oh, God, you know, here we go again. Mm -hmm. And the, the problem in the, um, you know, the local elections, there's going to be a lot of complaints about, about, about cheating. You watch. Okay. Well, one major difference between 2004 and uh, th this, the 2010 and 2013 elections is that they were still manual, pre-automation. You know, so I guess the question I want to raise now among all of you who have been observing elections for, for years now is it, it, will it be e easier or harder to detect the cheating in this system uh, than last time? I mean, uh, of course, last time there was there was a may recording mismo. There was a hello Garcia, which could also happen under an automated uh, system. No, there could be a, a recording out there somewhere of uh, some official uh, conniving with somebody to to cheat. No, so that can happen under manual or, you know, or automation. Yeah, Jim. One of the main differences of what it was before and now is that people now really expect quick count. I mean, this generation of, you know, of internet and, and all of these cell phones and everything, we really want to see it right away now. So I think we're stuck with, with uh, automated uh, things, but we really just have to put the safeguards. But yeah. this is really the way to go. I don't think we can go back yeah. to manual counting anymore. It's just unacceptable. But how about the hybrid let, that Mari Winnie has talked about, a kind of a partial me. manual? Mm. Yeah, but let me be the uh, devil's advocate. If uh, you actually compare 2010 with, with the previous elections, the proclamation of the presidency was faster during the manual than during the automation. Check your data. I mean, Wait, I mean hold on. a president... Uh, <laughs> is, uh, sound. Hold on. No, honest to God. Ano nangyari? Nasira yung sound? Just check your dates, please. You will mm. find out that in the manual elections, the the proclamation of the president was earlier than the proclamation in 2010. Because now there was a problem, remember, with the, the, the PICOS machine and the, and the initial uh, number of voters that came in, supposedly 250 million, some of those problems. But if you check that data, you're, you're, you're going to the problem. And as far as the, um, as far as the uh, uh, manual polls are concerned, I'm not saying we should go back to manual. I'm saying that there should be a hybrid where at the polling, at the, at the precinct mm -hmm. level, people will have a, a, a paper, paper trail because 
There is no problem with the precinct level counting and dami daming watchers. Ang madali ang pagkakwan kasi 200 votes lang ang pinapakita. Pero pagdating sa canvassing, to nakakaroon ng problema because diyan ang dagdag bawas. Hindi sa precinct level ang dagdag bawas eh. Pero ngayon, yung dagdag bawas, hindi mo pwedeng ma you, you cannot compare it with the precinct count because uh, you 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 don't have it. And it is so much easier now to change a ballot because before you had to write the names of your candidates, right? You had to write the names of the candidates. So, pag nakita mong diferensya, there's a difference in the in the in the handwriting. It's right quite rather easy. Please tell me how you can how can you you can differentiate one shading process from another. Okay, but I want to bring no. in Father Fra Father Francis. Well, okay, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pa pa no. there, there's some. Yeah. See, Father Francis. Yeah, there's something that ha there's something that happened last night at seven o'clock. Uh, and many of the media persons were also surprised by this. At 7 o'clock, uh, uh, Comelec decided to take a recess <laughs> and come back only the next morning at 10 o'clock. So, you know, well, all of us were, I was in another uh, network uh, being interviewed, and all of us were aghast. W why? Why do they want to rest? And then uh, that's why all the focus went to the PPCRV. Uh, I don't know if the PPCRB was warned that, you know, we're going to take a research, you take over, everybody will look at you and the KBP results. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe they were so nervous that these glitches came in. I also remember that during my Ladang Pearl days, there are areas that, uh, you know, because of the uh, computer system and the computer configuration and the uh, applications, that something goes wrong. And they immediately rectify that. But this is uh, the whole Philippines, no? Uh, so that's the, we, should, we still uh, uh, are, are curious on really what happened. So the, the digital uh, is not always a foolproof thing, but it gives us speed. But as Maring Willie said, should the, the manual election for the presidency <laughs> uh, and the result came faster. You know, so, you know, there's still but, a lot but to there, learn but there's to, a reason, to improve on this. There's a reason why it, it came faster. Eh? I think by law, it's really required even pag, you know, even pag uh, digital na talagang kailangan isasubmit natin manually sa hmm. sa hindi ba sa COMELEC yung ano yung oh. resulta talaga oh. 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 so oh. so why couldn't it have been faster if they if they had finished the count faster they could have submitted it faster I, I think it was only I think it was only uh, slower nah. because it was the first time we were doing it oh. there was like there was like this paranoia there was like this uh, you know uh, it could na, be over it careful could be. Okay. Uh, we, we can we can yeah. certainly uh, but, find that out. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's really it, it's really a choice between the old way and the new way. With all of its problems, I think people are are trusting this this new technology. I mean, we still have to fix it. Definitely, it's not like you know we we've, we've got it all down pat. But 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 the irony of it. People all, will Jim, want this more than more than the old one. The irony of it all, Jim is that developed countries, the Western countries like Germany, the United they States, go back UK, to manual, yeah. they, they manual. want to make sure that the precinct count, that, that the, the, oh. man, the voting in the precinct is manual because they need that paper trail. And you know, they, they, they need uh, signatures, et cetera, et yeah. cetera. But me, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do that. As, I'm, I'm willing to go electronic, I mean automated, as long as yeah. there, there are the safeguards. But yeah. we cannot continue to keep make excuses. It's been oh, two no. years since 20. It's, it's got to be improved. And it's gotta it, be you improved. know, instead of changing the, 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 machine, the machine provider who really muffed it up in 2010, we gave it to them again. Okay. <laughs> and then yeah. we gave them so many more contracts pa. Ayan ang nakakatakot. Okay, there, there are a lot of these uh, unresolved technical issues, but uh, we, we have about 15 minutes left. But I, So I want to have a short discussion lang about the, the results that, that we're seeing uh, so far. No? <laughs> si Maring <laughs> Winnie. <laughs> well, Maring <laughs> Winnie, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. I just wanted to a little bit of kulit to Father Francis because okay. he said yeah. the canvassing was postponed. You know why the canvassing was postponed, sweetie? Because they had no canvassing. They had no municipal canvases coming in because the <laughs> transmission was so delayed. <laughs> Just ko pa. That's what happened. So walang canvas. In other words, may delay na naman. Oh, kita mo na yan. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think they're meeting right now. <laughs> enjoy na, enjoy ako dito. <laughs>
Okay, so we have a new system, we have an automated system, but we're seeing the same names uh, come out uh, in the results. Uh, even the newbies, uh, of course, Grace Po, you mentioned Maring Winnie, she's, uh, she's number one, but of course, uh, she's not a new last name, FPJ has been uh, around, she ran for wala yatang dynasty yan, okay. FPJ tried right. once and lost. All right, still a familiar name. No, that's name. not a dynasty. Uh, no, not that's why I, I voted I, for her. Yeah, I didn't say it was a dynasty, but uh, <laughs> si Bam Makino has a familiar, okay, you can say that he's part of a dynasty, but you know, he's under 40, people think that he's also a new face. Was there anything new, I mean, anything encouraging that has come out uh, of these elections? Uh, so far, in terms of the results, local or national, uh, anong reaction yung uh, Father Francis? Well, uh, ang sinabi ko lang, uh, uh, what I told er I said earlier was, uh, it's, uh, it's supposed to be a quicker count. And example for the local, it was in a sense quicker. But also, uh, but what was lost is the actual manual count that should be happening in the precincts. So this one, uh, but you know, we still we still don't know because how fast can they recover uh, up to today? Uh, I hope they they do not keep on postponing up to Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. If they finish by uh, tomorrow, then I think that's good. Okay, all right. But then the credibility side is if the Philippine the Philippine society accepts this as credible, uh, usually they usually do it this way because if you know if you have uh, winning candidates. Half of the population is happy with that in, in the in the different areas, so <laughs> that could be okay. it's very difficult. And then a, a certain group will start again warning the public, which has happened from 2010 to today, and this has not been, the, the the glitches have not been fixed. Uh, we have to really to learn from the mistakes, but it seems we keep on doing the mistakes all over again. Okay, Jim, uh, I, I found it. Yeah, I found it very comical. I found it very comical that Lauren and Alan were at each other's throat thinking they were number one and then this race all just suddenly comes out. <laughs> they must have it. felt yeah. very silly. She, it she, was a very silly yeah. moment for those two. She Basically, yeah. she blindsided I think them. Was, uh, oh, Malu. Exactly. No, no, I think it was uh, to, to, for Grace, po, possibly uh, vote for a new, quali a, a new, parang a, a new side of uh, pol po politics. Meaning, parang she seems to be the, the 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 inheriting the goodwill that many voters have for new candidates, new faces. Now, what happened there, I think, is a, a million votes over Lauren, Lauren. And Alan, Peter, and Escudero, yeah. and the rest of the re-electionists lessen in humility for all um, the re-electionist senators. Yeah. Now, this this new person with some MTRCB work, and she she went to the debates and answered the questions well. All of them I, I, actually I, dumped the re-electionists. I want to add line. something there. I want to add something there. I think her storyline or her, her the mythology that she sold was really compelling. Mm. I mean, here yeah. is the here is the anak ni mm. anak ng isang tinitingalaan, di ba? Nadaya mm. sa election. Yes. <laughs> Nadaya sa election and <laughs> Nadaya daw sa election. They're carrying her father's uh, uh, what do you call this dream. Mm. And then throughout the debate you sort of see her acquiring the skills, di ba? Mm. But it's like a Jedi story in a, in a way. <laughs> Yeah, malakas yung ano, malakas yung dating sa tao. Yeah. If you don't have a compelling storyline, you're not gonna get there. Oh, the compelling storyline of, of B9 was only like, well, maybe she'll deliver like her father. Okay. Maybe we'll all be like Mahalo. All right, was, okay, speak, we've mentioned, you know, we've talked about Grace Paul. Let's talk about uh, the, the other new person uh, in, who's going to be in the Senate, Nancy B9. Uh, ano naman reaction yun doon? I mean, Nancy. she has her so own, yeah. you know, you, it's <laughs> ano, gra Grace, gra story line. Grace Poe has a storyline. Grace Poe has a, Grace po has a personal narrative. Grace Poe has a personal narrative. Ang storyline ni Binay, ng tatay. Well, Jojo yeah. Binay does have oh. a personal narrative that's kind of compelling too. He was part of the EDSA. Exactly. He was an EDSA revolutionary. Yeah. Uh, he's, you know, he was a but human rights lawyer. Nancy Binay, this, I don't think she has that kind of background. No, no. The, com the compelling story, the compelling story of Dinai, the father, <laughs> is that he made Makati rich, and people think Makati is like okay. the perfect place. So they all yeah. want that in their own. <laughs> which, right. yeah. which is not places. exactly an accurate. It's, it's not. It's, not it's, an accurate it's the myth. Version. But the question that sticks. I would like okay. to ask all yeah. of us here, the mm -hmm. netizens, you have a Binai running for Congress, you have a Binai running for the Senate, you have a Binai running for mayor. In the same elections, the question is. Where did the Binai family get all that kind of money when Binai was a municipal mayor all this time since 1987? Please tell me. 
Does has it occurred to anybody to ask? Oh, I think she, I think he, the Binays have been investigated, diba, by uh, journalists. Just uh, a minute, where do you get the money? From public. Yes, Malu. <laughs> have, Malu, the you're in the hot seat. The Binays have a lot of pork barrel actually mm. split between the vice president, Jojo Binay, has a 200 million peso pork barrel given by the president himself, Noy Noy, uh, on request of the Senate president, Enrile, in 2010. So, and then Nancy Bina, well, uh, Abigail Binay has her own pork barrel. And of course, internal revenue allotment for local government unit is there. So it's, it's really a lot of, this is a problem with political dynasties. They have a lot of the cash. The plan commands enormous amounts of state resources. My darling, where did they... And they will not investigate each other. How much yeah, does it, that's right. right. Yeah. How much does it cost, baby, to, to, to run a congressional campaign? How much does it cost to run a senatorial campaign and how much does it cost to run a mayoralty campaign wow that should be at the very least half a billion pesos i don't care how many years you've had little uh, little 20 percent 20 percent from your you don't get that kind jim you tell me where do you think they got the money jim oh I'm, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm not going to defend the B-Nice where they got the money because I'm really, really suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, definitely, boy. there's something crazy going on there. Definitely. Okay, so does anybody want to defend that? I mean, I would no. love to hear I don't think you'll find or, defenders. Or, or, I think, no, I don't think... Father no, no. Father... Yeah. <laughs> See? Okay, fine. I think, Father, I think any, any... Uh, Nancy b cannot now afford not to talk and I, I, tell I think... people exactly what she stands yeah. for. I think there's, I, I there's think, no more excuse. I think, you're, the th I think the question is uh, uh, for all the candidates. Where do yeah. they get their money for campaigns? Because even for advertisement, it always says from friends, 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 what friends, nonsense. friends. Yes. You know. So <laughs> I think everybody is in this uh, in this in this uh, in this rut to to answer this kind of question. Where do you get your money? I you remember the, uh, an old poli I remember old politician who once told me, uh, and he is good politician they said you know uh, we politicians should not steal from the people's money because if we only use our pdf that is sufficient for us to win okay i have this theory about you know about uh how filipinos vote i think our idea of check and balance is to put the worthy and the unworthy together yung matayino at bobo magkasama. Oh yung korap at saka anis magkasama. Yun ang ating check and balance yata. Yeah. Basically, I think the point of Father Francis is let's, let's not raise this question to the be nice alone because all of them, exactly. to, all of them yeah. to win had to buy political ads which we know yes. how much that costs per 30 seconds, per minute. They had to have uh, machineries that have to be fueled with uh, lots of cash. So, you know, it's not just the mean. I think all the winners had to spend a lot of money. Even Grace Poe, Maring Winnie, your, your candidate, yeah. had, had to yeah, spend a lot, lot of money for her ads. Big. You know, for uh -huh. this very nice yeah. ad with Susan Ross. It's a beautiful ad, but it costs a lot of money to make and to air. It, a, very cynical, a very cynical viewpoint, and, but a very accurate one, was given by a political operator who I interviewed uh, in, in my oh, yeah. show because for vote buying and he said both sides vote buy and what happens is that they get it back from the jobs or the positions that they that they win that is to me talagang you know I was so nakaka despair ba because somebody else said yeah and they get it back within the first year in other words, the return on investment is, is, is one year period. Oh, the other two years oh, is gotten, you know, enriching Depends. themselves and preparing for the next. How are we going to stop that, Father? Tell me, please. Marimini, I watch your show and it hit me straight to my heart because oftentimes you feel helpless when this happens. <laughs> and remember that guy that you interviewed used to be an quote unquote activist for, yes. for commu community development. Well, so George, he was, I mean, instead I was of being converted, life. he was being converted, you know, to the, to the left side or to the bad to the side. Left side father. So, but the, my, my reflection there is, how do you change the, the voting system and the election uh, way that uh, the, the processes we do if we don't change the equity issue in our country? I think that is the bottom line. It's the equity issue. Who lords it over? Meron ba ba tayo mga raja and basalios and this? 
I think it is all the same when you talk of dynasties. They, they are be, being praised by the poor oftentimes because, you know, they, they give them uh, goodies which they do not know where it came from. It also coming from their own funds, from the government, taxes and yeah. what have you. So I think th there's a lot of uh, holistic change that we have to look into. Okay, uh, we're down to our last two minutes. That's a nice uh, uh, wrap-up statement. Uh, Father, I want to give the others a chance too to Anibang, ano, uh, what really, what's the, the fundamental thing that really needs to change uh, for us to have results and a voting system that we will all be happy with? All of us have expressed some unhappiness about what happened yesterday, both the results and the process. What needs to happen for the next election? What can we advise everyone, including I, I those think, listening? Jim? I think the COMELEC was right. In oh, shucks. Oh, no. Okay, anyway, okay. Oh, we'll, we'll, he'll come back. Uh, Malu, uh, any thoughts on what needs to change? I, I think, Howie, we should now look at uh, the next step already, which is uh, uh, to look at whether the candidates will deliver on their promises to the people. We should be collecting back on all the things that they, the good things that they said they would do. Hindi pwedeng yung parang kalimutan na lang matapos yung botohan. I think oh. ang critical dito is most of the candidates that are winning now, yung Senate, they all said to the last person almost, ayaw nila ng political dynasty, gusto nilang i-abolish yung pork barrel, gusto nila ng Freedom of Information Act. Doon sa tatlong issue na yun, I think dapat sa national level, maningil ang mga taong bayan. Na parang ang suggestion kanina sa discussion was status report, status report. And third, I think, the level naman ng lokal, to, to me, I think that's the main vein of corruption in this country. Eh. Dapat hindi payagan maka ma, parang free pass lahat no, ng mga local candidates sa internal revenue allotment at saka yung insensitivity to the needs of the people. Services, mm -hmm. education, healthcare, etc. Okay. So, I think, yeah, yeah. Jim. Can, can I, sure. I, I think once we elect somebody, it's really wrong to just let them be. I think we have to call mm -hmm. their right. bullshit. We have to call them, them on their promises. And really, make a scorecard talaga. Sinabi mo ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Ang ginagawa natin is, you know, we get so excited about election, but wala tayo ng, yung long commitment to, <laughs> to really through. making sure That's everything right. is carried Follow out. Through. But I think it was very important uh, that uh, Comelec actually did the uh, anti-Apple thing because it, it slowed down the, you know, the expenses uh, to a great degree. I, you know, in my neighborhood, I had a picture of, of what it was like uh, in 2010. It was so dirty. This time, it, it, it looks like it never had an election. No? Mm -hmm. And in many places, I think in the Philippines, I got a lot of feedback that it was really like that. So I think um, we put certain uh, rules in place. If, if I had my way, I would do it like uh, Australia, where the political parties get their money from the government. OK, final words, uh, mm -hmm. Maring Winnie. <laughs> what? Oh, I, Ako, I, I will say it's a very simple thing, and I borrowed this from Christiana. No, huh? Sabi niya, kung walang, kura, kung wala, walang korap, walang mahirap. Diba? Mm -hmm. Ayun ang, mm. ayun ang, and that is what, the slogan of that, Pinoy. that is how Pinoy won. Mm -hmm. Walang korap, walang mahirap. Right. Well, between 2010 uh -huh. and 2013, walang nangyari sa mahirap. Ang ibig bang sabihin nun, <laughs> walang nangyari sa korap? Sa korap. Yeah, that's, that's, to me, that's a legitimate question. And the second thing is, all these people who are politicians and spend money right and left, spend it because talagang they know that they can get it back one way or the other and so therefore if you want to stop this this uh, uh this habit you've got to stop the corruption at the source why is it so easy to get funds from the people's money from the government if we can just stop that and to me the number one the number one watchdog there should be COA. If we can get COA to be yeah. just a little bit more timely and a little bit more forthright in its assessments, we would be one step, one step better. Okay, because. thank you. Thank yeah. you, Maring Winnie. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, all of you uh, uh, talked about, uh, at, you know, uh, power, you know, power of the people, you know, hearing the voices of the people and holding, holding these uh, politicians' uh, feet to the fire. And, you know what, there's one thing that's new uh, in these elections uh, that hasn't existed before, and it's the scale of people's voices on the internet, on social exactly. media. And, and exactly. Jim, Jim you, talked about, you talked about Apple. I mean, a lot of this was done through Facebook, through Twitter, 
And it had an effect. It had an effect on a lot of candidates who were also on social media. And it kind of evens the playing field. It evens the playing Good field. Point. And that's what this Google Hangout is all about. I mean, this is seen all over the world. Uh, hopefully, eventually, we'll have a lot more uh, uh, citizens involved. And, um, uh, and hopefully, we'll have an impact on our electoral process, no matter what happens to the automated system. So thank you very much for being part. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Jim. One Just final comment. Yeah. I think the influence of uh, the, in the influence of uh, social media will be exponential. The growth of it will be exponential. It's not Good. like one plus. In the next by 2016, I think it's going to be a real force to contend with. Okay. You know. Probably, I think uh, we should acknowledge also yeah. the yeah. presence of well, everybody else was actually a citizen journalist in these elections. Yes. It yes. will be much yeah. more so in 2016. My, my, my particular request is for netizens actually to spread this rage across on off-site communities and turn this rage into real action for good governance, holding our officials accountable. Okay. Very good. Uh, good point. Um, uh, Howie, one last sentence? Yes, okay. Howie. Yes, Father. Yeah. Um, uh, the, I, I see this, that, that is continued, uh, continuously happening. Democracy is jeopardized if the electorate is made ignorant. The hangout that you're doing now is one of the solutions to this. But mm -hmm. even this has to be managed properly. Yes. <laughs> well, we will keep improving this. We can only improve this. And many more people are going to be joining in and listening in on us. This is only going to get bigger. Thank you for being part of this pioneering group in this pioneering show, Google Hangout <laughs> E13 on GMA news.tv. Thank you very much, all of you, for thank your time. Thank you, everyone. And thank you for listening and watching. Bye. Everyone out there in the cyber world. Bye, Bye, Jim. Po. Bye, Father Lucas. Bye, Tita Winnie. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you, Maring Winnie. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Lalu mga has, Jim Paredes, and Father Francis Lucas. Ako po si Howie Severino. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you.